Captain Lewis with the Vincent's Township Fire Department. I'm here with our new heavy rescue truck. It's going to be at our headquarters, Station 7. Here we have a side EMS compartment with some shoreline power to keep things plugged in. We have our four-man cab, SCBAs in the back seat, one in the officer's seat, transverse compartment underneath the rear seats. There's also access to the EMS storage on the inside. This compartment is going to have our struts and stabilization for extrication or structural collapse. Compartment space for gear right there as we're going to or from a call. In this compartment, this out and down tray will more likely be our ventilation saws, chainsaws, K12. We have uh, the winch for rescue purposes. There's receivers, two on each side, two on the front bumper on the sides, one on the front bumper, one in the back. Spare cylinder storage for SCBAs. Cord reels will have a junction box and extra pigtails and things of that nature. This tray will house some of our air monitoring equipment. There's four plugins, 120 volt plugins in the back so we can keep things charged up. Extra batteries for electric chainsaws or our electric uh, extrication tools. This compartment we have our cascade system and spare bottle storage and toolbox for miscellaneous hand tools. Up here in our coffin compartments we store some of our larger cribbing, uh, some of our technical rescue, rope rescue, hazmat, suits, things of that nature, things that aren't as often accessed or needed to access. Our command light tower up there up front on the top of the cab. Also on each corner of the body, on top of the body, there's anchor points for rope rescue so we can tie off, use as changes of direction. This compartment will have some of our extrication equipment. We have three different size rams we'll have in here and also a combi tool. Then we'll be able to mount axes, halligans, sledgehammers, miscellaneous hand tools in there. A spot for more cribbing. Once again, SCBA storage above the wheel well. We have our cord reel. Then we also have the airline for air tools. In this compartment, you can see we have storage for all of our different size airbags we're gonna have. On this tray, we'll have the controls for those. Once again, another anchor point for the winch or a tie off for rope rescue. Another out and down trays, we really like those. And then these ones just slide out. They're at a decent height, so that way it's not too cumbersome to get things in and out. And then just like the other side, we have the transverse trays for access to our struts, any other stabilization equipment we have in there, and probably some larger hand tools, brooms, things like that. Over here on the officer seat, we have the second screen for the officer, whoever's riding in that seat, to control the lights, sirens, scene lighting, things like that. That way the driver can concentrate on the road and driving. Anchor points for the winch or rope rescue on the sides of the bumper and one in the front. In the front bumper we'll have our electric extrication tools, cutters and spreaders, and they'll all be permanently mounted in there so they don't go anywhere. This is our new rescue truck and we're excited to get it home and get it in service and have it out and about in the community. It's our third SVI rescue truck. That's our truck.